Well, hello YouTube and welcome back to Retired for Life. Uh, conditions are pretty good today and I don't think that's going to last. I think this is very possibly the end of it considering what we've got coming in the way of weather. So just for the fun of it, we're going to put all projects aside and pack up some camera gear and head out for... Uh, for a ride on the machine. All right, let's get packed up, get this thing uh, running and uh, get out of here. Hey guys, hopefully you can hear me over the noise of the snowmobile, but I'm at the end of the driveway. I'll show you how much of a trip it is to get to the main trail here. That's it, we're done. So here we are on the groomed trail. To my left there, that is the uh, sawmill. So we are going to go up there and uh, set up a camera and see if we can uh, catch a little bit of drone footage just for the fun of it. guys we're just gonna do a check under the hood and uh, get some camera gear out okay it is just beautiful out here the sun is so intense I'm really glad I've got this screen on here it's very hard to it would be very hard to see without it So we are ready for a takeoff and this will actually be the first flight I have done where I'm uh, not right back in around the house. So we'll see how that goes. Takeoff. All right, we're recording. Here we go.
activated the return to home. Yeah, there we are. It's lining up just perfect. Well, there we go. That was a fun little flight. We got back to the other uh, hunt camp back there, had a look at the creek, followed the uh, snowmobile trail for a little ways. No snowmobiles out except me, unfortunately, but it was fun. That is probably the longest flight that I've had it out on. And we'll see how we are for battery life on this. Yeah, we didn't quite use half the battery, so that's good. Well, that was fun. So uh, we're going to pack up and probably head towards the uh, wood processor and maybe we'll do one more flight out there and we may yet see another uh, snowmobile we'll see guys so we have uh, come a little farther out on the trail I've come off to the side here to uh, do another drone flight so we're going to it's pretty windy right now so we'll see how we do so we're gonna go up down the hill and around and see uh, if we can see any other uh, snowmobilers out there so let's take off and see how it goes All right, guys, here we go. All right, so we're 43 meters up and we're just going along the trail. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so there's the creek that we're out over top of now Yeah, and we do have 
a strong wind warning right now. So let's start coming back just so we don't end up in trouble here with the wind. It's really fighting the wind, but it's doing a great job. bring it in and land it. Well, that went very nice, folks. That was a real nice little flight. Uh, I have got to get to the point where I'm going to use waypoints. I just haven't been brave enough to get that far yet, but we're getting used to it. Uh, it is pretty windy today, so I didn't want to stay out there with it for very long. And it's getting late in the day, so it's time to pack up. We'll get the camera back on the front of the snow machine here, and we're going to head home. Well, guys, we've had a real nice day out here on the trail. So I think we're going to uh, pack it up and head for home. And we've got warm weather coming and rain coming tomorrow. So this might be the end of snowmobiling in this area anyway. Let me know what you guys have been seeing. If you've been out on your sleds and what the weather is like. Is it changing as much uh, around uh, where you are as it is here? Which is pretty dramatic. But... There's nothing we can do about it, so uh, we just make the best and keep on going. So thanks very much for watching, folks. Remember to stay safe out there, be good to each other, and we will see you out on the trails the next time.